What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog, baby. This is house tour edition, Boston, Massachusetts. Let's get it, we're always in there, never forget it. Let's get the tip rolling. What's going on? Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get this started, man. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. So, real quick update. I haven't done a vlog in a very long time. We got Ami, baby, on the camera today. Thank you, guys, for helping us out to make this, oh, you know, home tour Boston edition video. So, yeah, man, I'm gonna got a new apartment here in the South End. We're gonna give a nice little tour, show you guys there who, like, maybe in the future want to go to Boston. You know what the financial situation is like for an apartment of like a one bedroom one bathroom here uh and yeah man let's get this video started baby we're always in there let's start with this beautiful door <laughs> you see this door i mean come here man this door right here oh look at this door did you import it the paint job the handle automatic key system lock wow. so no keys at all you got a little sensor you hit the outside and you it's open oh you fancy huh yo thick doors we need doors. thick doors Thick with two thick doors, all right? <laughs> That's our beautiful door. What a guy's door, heavy duty door. Gotta protect the house, all right? We got a little closet right here to get started with. Right when you enter it, you're on the left hand side. Jackets, you know, got bags, shoes. This real show, quick. Show them the kicks, bro. No, nah, man, the kicks aren't even that nice, bro. The kicks aren't even that nice. <laughs> also, something very rare in Boston that if you ever move to the city, you'll realize having a laundry room is very rare. You know, having an in unit laundry room is very rare. So I'm blessed. Blessed. We have a laundry room. A little bit messy right now, but I'm gonna push that back. Dryer, washer, beautiful, in the closet, right when you walk in, gets the job done. So I spent a lot of time in the kitchen. When I first walked in, I never toured this place uh, before coming. They sent me a virtual video due to COVID. And so I looked at the video, I looked at the layout. The square footage here is about 518 square feet. The rent here is about $2,880 a month without utilities. So I guess overall $3,000 a month. Um, I didn't really know anyone coming into my class here uh, at Tufts. So I did some thinking after asking some people for like roommate situation. And at the end of the day, I decided that, you know, the, the pros outweigh the cons when it comes to living alone. First time ever living alone too. And I figured, you know, the privacy, the, you know, inviting, you know, my guests whenever I want to and just focusing on school. I felt like if I succeed at my academics, it'll be worth it. You know, the money is worth it. So moving on to the kitchen right here, you know, first thing I noticed very, it's a one bedroom apartment and in Boston things are a little bit smaller because there's so many people here and not a lot of space. But washer and dryer is pretty small. We got an oven, stove, we got our spices, salts, you know, and, and it works. For me, it works. I like the like, counter space. All right, can we show them the, the surface area, man? A lot of good counter space, a lot of like, you know, cabinet space. So I'm happy. It's a big, wide, open kitchen, right? We got a dinner table right here. Simple, easy dinner table, real quick. And then a little desk right here that I was gonna think of doing maybe like waxing projects for school or, you know, if we do anatomy, like tooth anatomy, stuff like that, just extra space, study space. Abby comes over, he wants to study, doesn't want to walk all the way home. That's the best for him. So yeah, guys, kitchen, living room, pretty easy, pretty quick. Bathroom, let's go to the bathroom. Air, air freshener going, bro? Yo, we got a nice scent. Always feeling good in the way, baby household. You know what I'm saying? We got some nice. Mom, I want to thank you for these towels. I love these towels. Mama, mama. 100% cotton, 100% organic. Just know that. Basic setup hygiene products. You got the butter, shea butter. You got the hair gel. You got the hair. Basic setup, all right, for the, <laughs> for the shower <laughs> grooming department, all right? We got shave butter, you know, we got hair gel, toothpaste, face cleanse, floss, and you got the electric toothbrush. The Philips Sonicare. Philips Sonicare. A1. Did you brush your teeth this morning? Always. Is that even a question? Twice a day, two minutes, total of four minutes a day. Two minute sessions. All right. We got some couple of colognes going on. You got like, yeah, smell good, gentlemen. You gotta smell good always. It's a must in the weight baby household. All right, this is the weight baby household. We're always in there, baby, and we must smell good. Okay, let me show the colognes. I'll show you my least favorite cologne to my top two favorite colognes or best favorite cologne. All right, let's do this. Cologne tour, cologne tour. I'm giving all my secrets out here. This by far is like my least favorite cologne out of all my colognes, right? 
But Bulgaria? The P Bulgaria, bro. So, Bulgarian men, wood essence edition, not a big fan, don't like it at all, really. So, I use it, you know, when I like work out, whatever. Just Next, top two favorites. Top two favorites, gentlemen. You gotta have these in your collection. Jimmy Choo Man. Not just Jimmy Choo Man, but Jimmy Choo Man Intense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Intense. How do you say it again? Sauvage. 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 Might be saying it wrong, but savage, baby. I bet you guys don't know anyone that has these bad boys. Mama, I wanna thank you for the gift. Reflexology slippers. If you don't know about it, go look them up. It's a must have in your bathroom collection. The pressure on the shower is ridiculous. It goes like Every Persian dad knows the douche, the hamun, the shower needs to have that water pressure. No water pressure, no good. It's not clean, let's go. Oh, I haven't had a TV yet, so I mean, come show them this real quick. Let's we'll start with the wall. So I saw this painting, you know, we got Banksy, the girl with the red balloon. Never, never give up. Dream big dreams, I love you. I love this painting because it really like keeps smiling. I wake up every day, I'm not showing you my bedroom, and like I wake up every day to this painting and it's the description of my life. You know, enthusiastic, optimistic, dreaming big dreams, never giving up, keep on going forward. We're always in there, baby. That's the lifestyle, that's the motto. So I had to have this, you know, in the living room when I saw it, I love it. Let me turn my phone off, it's dinging. And yeah, I was gonna get a TV right here too. But like, the more I thought about it, I, I probably am gonna get a TV still, but uh, when I have people over, it really encourages conversation. When there's no TV here, we really get to know one another like deeply. We've had a lot of classmates over here and having great conversations, knowing one another. So I sort of like not having a TV. Instead, I grew some mint. Yeah, you can watch your mint grow. I watched my mint grow. This guy was a little, little baby with like two leaves. Now he's thriving in his little pot. We got some time. And every, submit. Every Persian mom would be proud of you right now. My mom went with me. You know, my parents came, helped me move in, whatever, for like 12 days. We went to get some, you know, herbs. Love the herbs. You know, the sneaks are here not to, you know, it's just like an art piece. So these sneakers are just a beautiful piece of artwork. They're here for now until I wear them. I think I'm gonna wear them for like clinic, you know, clinical shoes. But yeah, got a TV set up, speaker underneath, looking good, looking fresh, looking clean. I'm a minimalistic. I like clean, simple, fresh. We got a table. You know what I'm saying? We got a table right here. This table is for just miscellaneous activities. People can come relax. We got a nice little couch we got. Footrest right here. Looking good, looking clean, looking fresh. But really what you're paying for in this apartment and in this location for like $3,000 know, a month is not cheap whatsoever. But I mean, this view is like, you know, worth it all. You know, to just show them that, man. Show them that beautiful view. You got everything, you got a sky. So like South End is not in the city. So you really see the whole city, the skyline view. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the bedroom. All right, and I'm not gonna say that's where the magic happens because we're not basic here. But I'm gonna show you. So it's a one bedroom apartment. Let's show you guys the bedroom, right? Huge sliding door that separates the living room from the bedroom. I mean, come in the bedroom, man. We got a little bedroom here. Nothing crazy, but it gets the job done. You know, full size bed, got a desk. You know, I'm a very like, you know, I just want a like laptop, want some storage space, you know, want our cars, like we got a little baby here, a drone, just camera equipment, you know, pens. And then we got again the beautiful like, you know, view, right? So desk, chair, computer, we got books, camera equipment, hats. Every city I go to, every college I visit, every college I visit, I got a hat. So I have a bunch in the um the closet still, I haven't really put them all up, but here's a little bit of them. You know, bed, whatever. And on this side, we got a, we got a closet. I mean, I'm not, I don't have that many clothes. You know, very simple clothes, whatever. Just line them up, fit them in. So very small closet. So yeah, that's the whole room. We got a closet, bed, desk, chair, and that does it for me. You know, that's my little one bedroom. Again, 518 square feet is not that big, but it took a little bit of adjusting. My old, like, honestly, a true, like, real advice since I just moved to Boston about a week, couple weeks ago. Um, before orientation, I wanted to move in early. I think moving in early, finding a nice clean spot that you don't have to worry about like a landlord and maintenance issues and just a hectic like headache. Find a place that's clean. You know, if you're gonna pay more for that and that convenience of service, then so be it in my opinion. If you get good grades, the price is worth it. But definitely move in early. You get to adjust and you know, settle in. Furniture may not come as planned or you might have some last minute changes. So giving that extra cushion between Moving, move in and like 
school date is important because you can just settle in and when school starts, you're ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So it just adds more peace of mind. Other than that, you know, definitely asking students or friends that you have in the city already to what areas are good to live in, what apartments are nice, what apartments are bad. And really like we're close, inner city in Boston is more expensive, but the convenience is everything in my opinion. You know, to go to school on last minute, when you're starting clinicals, you know, lectures, whatever it may be that you're gonna go to school, it's a quick seven minute walk to the, the building and you can get stuff done. So for me, convenience was everything, comfort, clean, modern services as well. All right guys, that wraps up the video for today. I mean, thank you for controlling the camera for today. I appreciate you, my brother. Gotcha. I appreciate you, baby. Guys, that's my apartment. If you guys have any questions regarding moving to Boston or any questions about where are the best areas to stay, drop a comment down below. I'll definitely answer your questions. That's what I want to do. That's why the purpose of the channel is. We wanna help out. We wanna give advice, insight share our experiences you know we want to share our experiences to the world that does it for my apartment house tour here in boston massachusetts baby we're always in there never forget it live a little peace